Oh yes, Mac T's back and I got the smiley faces delivered. And uh you know, you guys are asking me questions about this, so I thought maybe I'd open it up and let you all know the what's whys and hows of what went on today when I was in my garage and why I did what I did. And there it is. The unboxing of the Pure Later Boss PBL 2250. Yes, nice, wonderful little filter. Been using this thing for, gosh, multiple years. It used to come in like a hexagon box, and now they went to a square box like everybody else. I guess they decided it wasn't worth the extra cuts or whatever it is. Uh, in most cases, this is what you get. This is the filter. The Purilator Boss. Now, one thing that you need to know. It is... How many miles? Focus. Yes. There you go. 15,000 mile filter. Now, I recently did an oil change where I did not change the filter. I left this in place. I had 6,000 miles on the engine. Oil that I put in there. And... I see a lot of folks, a lot of the time, they will change the filter, add a little bit more oil, and then run the old oil with the new filter. Now I say if your filter is good for 15,000 miles, and you're the type of person that changes it every three, say five, up to 6,000 miles, why are you changing a 15,000 mile filter? I have proven through testing as far as the solubles or insolubles that come into part of the testing for oil testing that this filter has been a point two, I think it is, insolubles religiously across 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 8,000, 12,000 plus miles. It has had a consistent filtering capability of point two for the insolubles. So that tells me this filter is good for at least 12,000 and for the 15,000 it's advertised for. So I ask you why am I going to take and change the filter and just add a little bit more oil when in reality the best thing to do since the filter has proven itself the best thing to do is since these things are, you can have them for as low as like 12 bucks, but as high as 14. And if you reuse it and, and go 6,000 miles and then change it, change the filter every 12, then at that 6,000 mile mark, you're actually taking, just like your transmission and other things, you're getting rid of the old, nasty, dirty fluid. And then you're taking and adding fresh fluid into a filter that is still functioning as it was designed. So I tell you, why are you spending that money on a new filter and adding a little bit of oil when all you have to do is add new oil and leave the filter in place and reuse the filter? So then you save money on buying, not having to buy a new filter and you get fresh oil, which is always good, if that's what you wanted to do. And keep in mind, I've proven that a lot of oils will go 10,000 miles easy. So, uh, you know, that's really where it's at. And I know I'm throwing this sort of on its head because the standard rule for a lot of folks is, is change the filter, add a little oil. In this case, change the oil, add no new filter. And let the filter keep doing its job it's going to have a negligible effect. I'm running a test on the oil that had 6,000 miles on it and I bet you it comes out to 0.2 for the insolubles. And then when I do the next test after 6,000 miles, I am willing to bet dollars to donuts that this filter is still functioning like it's supposed to and it will then still come out with a 0.2 for the insolubles. So that tells you, and I can you know, without a doubt, it could prove me a liar, but without a doubt, I know this filter functions that way. It doesn't collapse. It doesn't, this is a good quality filter. Uh, I'm not a spokesman for these guys, a pure later or anything else, but I will tell you, this is an excellent filter. 
good solid filter that will last the time that you need it to last when you're doing your oil changes. So uh, there's nothing wrong with this, what I'm doing. Uh, I've done enough oil testing to prove that this is a very viable way to do things and I will then come up with the oil testing just on the insolubles and, and metal particles and everything else on this 300,000 mile Ford Edge that I'm using. Uh, you know, I've ran this Ford Edge 3.5 Duratec through the mill. Uh, you know, I've done oil testing 10, 12,000 miles, 250, 270,000 miles. I've ran uh, or hours, 275 hours or so, uh, 250 hours on the engine. And it comes out to like 12,000 plus miles on one oil change and one filter. So if this filter can handle the 12,000 that I've been putting it through uh, with one oil, it can handle another oil change and have clean oil and still perform the job. So, uh, you know, for all of you who are curious of what I was doing, that is what I was doing and why I was doing it because I couldn't see putting another filter on when I knew this filter would do the job irregardless of whether it had new or used oil in it and I wanted to use up some of the oil and like I explained in my uh, Facebook video uh, I have a lot of oil on the shelf I didn't want to take and uh, keep hanging on to that oil because I've done a lot of oil testing it's time to time to use that oil up I'm down to I think 15 quarts now which is more than enough for two more oil changes and they're multiple different brands. Uh, once I use those up, then I can start buying some fresh oil. Uh, so really it's more me just trying to run some oil through and use it up. And I figured 6,000 miles I've been running, running uh, Lou and my Ford Edge through the gamut as far as oil testing. So why not give uh, Lou a extra frequency oil change at 6,000 miles, which I haven't done for years. So uh, 6,000 miles is way early for uh, what I've been doing on this Duratec and it's got almost 300,000 miles on it. So that ought to tell you something. But folks, that's why I did it. Hope that explains the rhyme, reason, and method to my madness of what I was doing and answers some of your questions. But this is Mac T Ford Edge. Make sure you like, subscribe, join Mac T Ford Edge. Join the Facebook group, number one Ford Edge Facebook group in Facebook. And also, my feet hit the floor today, and I'm having a great day. I want you to have a great day too. And Band of One's got some great music, and Mercy Girl's going to do a couple one-liners for you. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos. Remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Girl production.